Congress over drilling here in the U.S. We want to show you new video of the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge in northern Alaska. This is well north of the Arctic Circle. Where's the snow? That region now off limits to oil drilling for environmental concerns, but it might represent America's greatest prospect for drilling. The U.S. Geological Survey estimating that there are more than 10 billion barrels of recoverable oil there, and it could produce more oil than any state in the U.S. at peak production. That's what they say. Well, Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman just returned from Anwar, northern Alaska. She's back in D.C. She was there as part of an American energy tour and is with me this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, Bill. I, it's I great to be back. Well, I'm curious to learn about your experience. You put out this long statement. In part, you said you want the American people to know the following. This is a treasure trove of energy that will yield a lot of minimal intrusion. I want to take it step by step. What do you observe in Anwar when you get there? When you get to Anwar, it is essentially a tundra area that is permafrost. And it's very interesting because it isn't the mountains and the area that you would normally think of. It's a coastal plain. There's no sand. And it's the Arctic Circle. You're north of the Arctic Circle, right on the Arctic waters. It couldn't be a more perfectly situated area for oil drilling. Why so perfect? it's a perfect place to be. Why? It's, it, it's perfectly situated because it's adjacent to the current Trans-Alaska Pipeline. This is our energy lifeline for United States. It's over 800 miles of pipeline. This is only 74 miles away. It would be relatively simple to build a spur line and be able to drill, get the crude oil back down to United States. After all, Bill, the largest oil field in United States is the Northern Slope. At 31 years ago, this was the largest oil field. Today, it is still the largest oil field. We are so blessed as a nation that we have this wonderful natural resources available. Even Ben Bernanke and my financial services committee said last week, if we could increase American energy supply by 1%, we would lower energy prices by over 10 percent. We have this resource available. We have the space available in the pipeline. It's proximally situated. We need to get drilling. We need to get online. We need to do it all right, quickly I, I understand, so we can get the price I, I, I understand all the points you're making there. Okay, now the, the other side will say that you have to protect the caribou. You have to protect animal life up there. Now, and in, in, your, in your experience, uh, what animal life did you see in your time there? We saw caribou, we saw muskox, we saw snow geese, we saw loons, and it was beautiful to see the animals that were up there, and they're, they're right next to the pipeline. They like to roam near the pipeline, and there was a wonderful interaction between both the oil industry and the wildlife that was present. So you did experience that. I was reading a comment here that said you saw no animals in your time there. There, there were animals that we saw from the air, and we saw them in the area near Prudhoe Bay. We didn't see a lot of animals over in Anwar, but okay, we well did that, well see them in Well, that's the specific Bay. point, okay. Now, as far as being intrusive to the land, it's been 1980 since the Alaskan pipeline was set up there. How has the technology changed that would protect the environment today based on the advances in that industry? The technology has changed dramatically, Bill. What we saw is that it w would formerly take perhaps as many as 26 acres of space in order to do drilling. Now that's down to about six acres. So there's a very small footprint. Here's another thing that we saw. There is very, very careful environmental protections. So if you had a large truck, for instance, that was driving from point A to point B, once the truck stopped, a little uh, what you call a duck pond or a diaper would be put under the truck to pick up any spills of oil drops that would come from a crankcase. There's probably more oil spillage in a Walmart parking lot than there is up in Anwar from any oil spills that have occurred up there. Well, guess who's up there right now? Jim Angle. Jim Angle. We're yeah, going to talk Jangle. to him later today. So we got your view of it. We'll get Jim Angle's view of it, because so few Americans have ever visited this part of Alaska. That's it's right. tough to get to. It's July. It's the most fertile time of the year. Good to get your perspective. Michelle Bachman, thank you. Welcome home. Thank you. Remember, to under nine months of the year, it's under snow and ice. Oh, I know. Three months out of the I've year, it's there. under complete darkness. Oh, yeah. Permafrost, as far as Permafrost. the eye can see. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Bill. Megan?